Good morning everyone, today is Thursday, December 21st. I thought I would do a little vlog for you guys today because I have quite a bit to do. I need to finish some Christmas crafting and get stuff ready to go to Mike's family's. And I'm thinking about going to the gym since I'm up so early, I might as well get that out of the way. Um, but first, I need to make some breakfast. That was delicious. I think I'll have it again tomorrow. Okay, so that was a delicious breakfast. Now before I go to the gym, I have to do something about this because it's awful. The dot is kicking my butt. So I fully intended on only putting on some concealer and going to the gym, but then I remembered that I have to go to town today to drop off the Christmas presents that I'm making for my family before we go out of town, and I was like, I do not want to do my makeup twice in one day, so I was like, I'm just going to do it. I don't sweat a lot on upper body day anyway, so then it's done and I don't have to worry about it anymore, but now let's go to the gym. So really quick before I head out, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. This is from Target. It's just this tank top sports top thing. Um, I love it. It's a little too tight though, so I would size up if I were you. I am usually a size small, which is what this is, but it just kind of makes me bulge a little bit back here, which is strange. Um, so I would recommend going a size up if you got one of these. And then leggings are from Fashion Nova and sneakers are from Target. So let's go. Kettle buggy. So I just pulled in at the gym and remembered that I don't have to go to my mom's today because I have to take my dog down so that she can watch him while we're out of town. So I have to take him either tomorrow or Saturday morning. So just guess I'm wearing makeup today. <laughs> Stupid. I'm about to head in. I'm hoping that there's nobody on the cable machine so that I can get in and get out and just kind of post up in that area and uh, get a quick workout in.
Okay guys, now let's start this home tour. Okay guys, so we are starting out in the bathroom here. We just have a lot of storage. It's amazing. TV by our tub. You can just soak and relax in the tub and watch Netflix or whatever. And then over here we have a stand-up shower and some towels. Keep my skincare over here and some perfumes. And obviously we need spray because I live with a man. And also baseball trivia, I don't know. Um, I decorated with a couple little fake flowers from Target. And here we have two, oh I didn't turn the lights on, one second. Okay, that's so much better. So we have the two Himalayan salt lamps that Mike got me, or salt tea light holders. Um, and then the wine glasses that we decorated. And I just threw some mini ornaments into. I thought that looked really nice. So this is the bathroom. And then off of the bathroom is my beauty room. So first, here we have my little office area, drawers, my little makeup station. So in these shelves here I have some brush cleaner, a mirror, um, usually I have all my beauty blenders in here. This is just random stuff and that's a foam flower that I made. And then down in this next tier, this is where I keep all of my makeup brushes. I have a couple frames back there and a picture of my sister and I, a little pencil holder, sunglasses my Smashbox lipsticks, some cat ear headbands, and my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And then down here, I have all of my Beauty Bakery goodies on display because their packaging is just so cute and I have so much of it, so I figure why not just have it out. And down here, I'm diffusing some peppermint oil through the house. It smells so good. Um, this is the mirror I use basically every day to do my makeup, another foam flower, and then my printer. Down in here, I've got just a bunch of random like crafting stuff. I've got my voiceover mic right here, um, a Smashbox box, which I put some like makeup and, or actually I think it has paint and stuff in it. And then in this little container, I have all of my vitamins and things that I take. And then in this one has a bunch of camera stuff, cords, um, more diffuser oil in here. And then down in the sides, I just put some books. Actually, this thing's in the way. Down in the sides here, I just have some books and this little panda guy that I made a few years ago. And then in my drawers, I've got crafting stuff, my cute little washi tape. And then in this one just has like important papers and makeup that I want to use for giveaways and just other crafting stuff. And then over here, of course, I'm so sorry it's so messy, but this box right here is full of clothes that I'm currently selling. Um, I cleaned out my closet and I listed it all on Vinted and I'm actually going to be taking that down quite soon um, if nothing else sells. So if you guys want to check that out, I will leave that in the description box below um, before I go take that to like the Salvation Army or something. And then I have this stuff out here, that's my sewing machine, some fabric. And that is a knot pillow. I'm actually going to be making more knot pillows as Christmas gifts, so I have to keep that out so I can put that together. And then in this area here, this is just where I keep my big mirror, and I just prop it up on that box. And I've got some dumbbells for when I want to do at-home workouts. I have some old sweaters and shirts that I want to turn into pillowcases. Pillowcases, sorry, I don't know why I couldn't say that. And then all of this stuff just needs to be like wrapped Christmas presents and things. But I have this nice natural light in these two windows here. And then over here I have this dresser that I got from Walmart that has all of my clothes in it. And I just set up my whole little Christmas display up here. So I have my pre-lit tree and I just add like gold, rose gold, um, and white to it and I just think it looks really nice. And then. I also have like just little random trees I have collected over the years and this little sparkly deer and then this little wooden piece of this little slab of wood with a Christmas tree on it I just thought it looked really cute 
And then of course, you guys saw that in my um, DIY tutorial. I made that and then I set up another tree next to it, just put it on a little stand. And I have this on my Casey Holmes Smashbox PR box because I just think it's sparkly and pretty. And then a little tree candle here. And then this awesome glass piece that I got from my friends Symphony and John a while ago. And then up here I have these two little light up tree displays that I made a few years ago. And then of course my topiaries that you guys saw in my tutorial as well. A little metal joy sign and then this glittery deer head that I got from the home store. So that is the whole setup. And then moving over here, I have my clothes rack. I have currently all of my white, blacks, grays, and greens on this one just to kind of keep all of the same colors um, because usually this whole area is, you know, pretty monochromatic, black, white, green, and that's it. And then down here, it's a mess. Um, I have all of my lighting lights and lighting equipment here. Um, I have a yoga mat back there and my tripod. I have no other place to put them right now. That bag is full of pom-poms because I'm making a wreath. And then under that, all those cellophane, cellophane bags right there um, are all do-it-yourself flower kits that I'm adding to my Etsy shop. I've got stuffing for those pillows that I mentioned that I'm making. And then we have a little picnic set that Mike and I used in our engagement shoot. And then that little that little nude bin right here has just all of my over the knee socks. That is my foam rolling ball. That is just a random project I'm working on. My guitar, my wooden DIY backdrop sitting there. And then over here we have my desk area. So I've got my chair that my mom got me from Marshalls. I've got my computer. This is where I do all of my editing. And then over here, I know this is a mess too, but I have my, um, I want to do an unboxing pretty soon, so I'm just kind of hoarding all of the packages that I've gotten. I need to get one more. I need to get one more from my mom's house, um, and then I can do that for you guys. And I just have like a little candle up here on the desk that smells really nice from my friend Lauren. And then this pile of papers here are receipts. Yay, tax season. I love being an adult. No, I definitely don't want to move back in with my parents. And then in here I have this little cubby where I like to keep my Hermione pen. And then I have my planner and just a notebook to write ideas down in. And then the final corner of the room is right here. So as you guys saw earlier, this is where I keep my makeup. I pulled my makeup out earlier. I have more makeup here. I actually went through and got rid of a ton of makeup this year. I had so much and I just don't need it. So I got rid of it, gave it away. And then this is just my little display area where I keep my cameras. Usually this camera right now is up here as well. I've got a couple of pairs of glasses slash sunglasses that I like to use in photos. I have my butter beer candle back there from my neighbor Sarah and some crepe paper flower bouquet thing that I made um, trying to test out and see whether or not I want to make my own flowers for the wedding. They will not look like this. I don't actually like how this turned out very much. And then I have my Harry Potter wall art and my Snape wand. And yeah, that's about it for the beauty room. Okay, and here we have the kitchen. So we have these two bar stools here. This is where we sit and eat because there's no other room for a table. And then here is our sad, sad Christmas tree. See, she's so droopy now. She's like the difference between my boobs now and when I was 18. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. They're still holding up pretty well. Um, but yeah, she's very droopy now, very dry. Um, I watered it. This is my first real tree ever. I watered it, but she is on the outs and and at this point I'm afraid to turn on the lights anymore because I feel like it's just going to go up in flames like in that really scary video I saw on Facebook where the where it shows like an, how an unwatered tree just like goes up in flames in 2.5 seconds so no more lights um, I might even take this down before we head out for Christmas since we won't even be here
And then coming back around this way, we just have our fridge. There's a ton of storage space in here, so many cabinets. I love that about our kitchen is we have a place for basically everything. I hate seeing stuff out, like even just seeing this stuff out on the counter drives me crazy, but it's okay. I need to get over it. And um, so just we just have my little, oh, we have a grater that can go in a drawer. We have my blender, which is covered in flour because I made Christmas cookies. We have an espresso maker, fruit bowl. I need to freeze those bananas for smoothies. And then we have our coffee station and spices here. And then we've got our sink. And I put like flour and sugar and powdered sugar and nothing in that. Mike got a popcorn machine because he loves popcorn. Here's our dirty blender, just covered in protein powder. We have our record player and our Chris Stapleton record. There are also other records behind it, but that is our favorite one to listen to when we're cooking dinner together. And Mike's protein powder. And here is the frame that I made for us. Look at the flowers, they're turning brown. I can't believe it, I didn't think that they would. So I'm in the process of pressing flowers into a book right now. And then once that is set and they're preserved or whatever, hopefully they won't change color. Um, I'll just switch these out and put those in there. Um, and then I have some dried flowers and just more leftover stuff from that uh, fall pumpkin flower centerpiece thing that I made. Um, so I just put that right here. I thought that looked nice. And our stove and cooking oils. This part is so boring. And actually right here, these are going to be Christmas gifts for my family and friends and my clients. I just want to show them how much I appreciate them. And all these are our um, coffee sugar scrubs that I made yesterday. And I just have to put ribbon on all of them so that they look festive. But I'm really excited. I even made one for myself. I'm so excited. They're it was really, really easy to make. I actually saw this on Drew Scott's channel, so if you guys want to know how to make it, um, I will link that video down below for you. So yeah, that is basically it for the kitchen. Let's go out to the living room. To the left, we have our futon here, and we have Yankees pillows and a blanket that Mike's mom made for him um, so I do want to make pillowcases so that I can like switch it up once in a while and we can put pillowcases over these and not have to buy new pillows and you know just depending on the season or how we're feeling switch them on in and out and because it's a futon it like sinks back so I put some body pillows back there so that when people are sitting it like gives them more back support I do want to get a cover for this eventually like possibly dark brown so it matches the rest of our room and then we have this giant monkey stuffed animal that we got for lady to play with and then up on the wall here we have a painting that my friend lauren made for us and that's just like a string of shells that we got from hawaii when we were there and then i've got this whole photo collage that says days spent together become memories to treasure and I just added a bunch of photos of my friends and family and Mike and the dogs and of course Jaclyn Hill because that was like the greatest moment of my life. And then over here we have one TV. Um, we just bring that out here so that Mike can play a game while we watch TV. So either or. Um, so this one's usually on. We all have like a movie or something on. And then we just have some books and DVDs and my succulent from Plant Night and some agate coasters. And then we have Lady's new bed that we got for her for Christmas. And then over here we just have a lamp and this and this like pyramid shaped thing that I put like all kinds of like geological items and treasures in. And then we have our TV and a just massive cords because of the PlayStation and the VR and then um, Biscuits Kennel is just covered. I cover it with a blanket when we leave the house so we just put that there. And then we've got mittens and hats. We have like a little bin of stuff, some throw blankets, and the Harry Potter board game that we've been playing quite often. 
And then over here we just have, you know, hooks for our jackets and for the dog's sweatshirts and stuff like that. And then a little nightstand. And I actually made this paper flower for Mike's niece and we have to take it to her. So I'm just keeping it next to the door so that I remember to take it. And then this is the only bit of Christmas decorations that we have in this room. But there is this little thing that actually the battery died. It's supposed to light up, but it doesn't light up anymore. And then a little tree and a little Santa. And then we have some wooden coasters from my friend Hillary's wedding. And then I just put like a string of these pine lights back here behind the couch, but you can't even see them. Um, so this is the couch, just a regular couch. And there is the blanket that I hand knit. And as you guys can see, I'll show you guys closer. It's literally like so ratty and coming apart. I don't know if that's normal for these kind of blankets or not, but it totally just looks like garbage now. But Lady loves it, so we keep it so she can lay on it. And then up on the wall here, we just have our little together pictures. Um, it just says together is a beautiful place to be. And that picture there is from our one year anniversary. That picture is just from a wedding show Mike came and helped me with. I just really like that picture of us. And then we have some other pictures here. This was my birthday, um, not this past year, but the year before. He took me to this place called Adirondack Extreme. That's from um, Halloween two years ago. That's from the Pitbull March in Syracuse. Um, that's from a Christmas party. That's just our little buddies sitting together. That's from the State Fair. And that's from a Syracuse Chiefs baseball game. And then up on the shelf here, I just have something that I'm using in a craft all the way in the back there. And then um, a couple of our Christmas cards. And then just here in the center of the room, we have our coffee table, and I like that it's open glass, so I just put one of my crepe paper flowers in there, and I think it looks really nice. Okay, and last but not least, we have our room. So first to the right here, we have a little shoe closet. It's kind of a mess. We have a bunch of the dogs Christmas toys in here and we just have to like put stuff in front of it so that they can't drag them all out But we have just the majority of our shoes in here. Mike's got a bunch of hats and then I've got my makeup chair over here in the side and then um, Just like a little container of the dogs toys when they want to pull stuff out They'll just come in here and grab stuff and then right here We have another one of my clothes racks just has all the rest of my clothes that don't fit into the color scheme in the beauty room I have them hung up here and my Sully pajamas here. And then over here we have the closet. Um, it's all Mike stuff in this closet, but I love these mirrors. It makes this room so nice and bright. And then over here we have this little display area where we put a bunch of Mike stuff, Yankee stuff, this little cutout of Lady's face, a little photo book with our memories in it, and then like his black belt, his boxing gloves. I think they're boxing gloves, I don't really know. And then um, some baseball stuff of his. And then over here on top of this dresser is where I have my little Christmas scape here. And this is where I have all my like darker, moodier, you know, classic Christmas color stuff going on. And we have Mike stocking, lady stocking, biscuits is right there. And then mine is right there. Do you guys notice anything about that? Hmm? Whose stocking is empty? Oh, it's not empty. <gasps> Ooh, there's stuff in there. So here on this ledge, I just have this like glittery tree. I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is from like different hobby shops. So like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore, uh, the home store. This is actually a um, stocking holder. I just flipped it over and it's a little dusty. So that's good. Um, that's my noisemaker that we listen to at night. And I got these string lights here from Ikea forever ago and I love them so much. And then there's just like this little cardinal book here, this little lantern, lantern. Um, and then we have my Christmas houses, which you guys have seen probably a couple times now. And then little fake poinsettia and my just jewelry rack thing, because I don't know where else to put it. And this little light up Christmas tree thing that I got at the home store. And then over here in the corner, I just have this little rack thing that has 
um, you know, storage in the back and just a bunch of random stuff in there, honestly. I put a plant up at the top, but I think I want a bigger plant that kind of spills out over it. Um, I just keep a couple of my purses. I really don't have many purses at all. I think I have three total and my backpack and a flower crown that I made. And then one side has a mirror on it over here. The other side has a cork board and then the other side is completely open and I just have storage bins in it. Okay, and then here is our bed. I actually just got this new bedding. It's faux fur from Target. It was only $35 for a king size. And this is a queen size bed. We get a king size because we like to steal blankets. Um, and then I've got my little pineapple pillow that my stepmom made for me. And my memory foam body pillow. Get the bone off the bed. Thank you. And then our pillows and then of course um, so when I ordered this for the bed I wanted it to be more like light and cozy and stuff for winter we just have a couple of throw blankets here as well which I don't know how to style so they just kind of look like garbage um, I also ended up ordering new drapes so they'll actually match because this one is green and then this one is dark blue so the new ones are like a dark red color with like a white damask print on them and then we just have Mike's little corner over here he sleeps on the side so it's just his little nightstand with stuff in it I've got a dog bed with a blanket in it biscuit likes to sleep down there um, gun for home defense and then a little like catch-all thing I had to put up there because he would just like put stuff on the tabletop and it was just driving me nuts so I was like I'm just gonna put a basket here and he'll put his stuff in it <laughs> and then the one piece of art we have on the wall is this picture that I took of the flowers he bought for me for our one-year anniversary I just think it looks really nice I want to get a canvas and like make a piece of art that has also these colors in it that I can also hang up here on the wall but that is about it so that is it for the home tour. Look at my pants right now, guys. I accidentally got coconut oil that just dripped on my pants and I've washed them since then and it's just never gonna come out. So now I just look like I'm dirty all the time. So thumbs up for that. <laughs>